Well, let's get into some real South shit going on on, on the South side. And, and that's a historic uh, 8-5 triple play. Oh, my the God. The first in baseball history that it's, it's never occurred before. Um, basically, uh, to recap, um, it was Lewis. No, who crushed that? Who hit the ball? It was, was it Lewis Robert? Uh, I, oh, no, no. It was. AJ Pollock crushes a ball yeah. okay. to, to right center. But Byron Buxton's out there. And when Byron Buxton is healthy, which he's, he's pretty healthy right now, he can track down any baseball pretty much. And he makes a great over-the-shoulder catch that somehow – Adam Engel doesn't see. Yohan Makata doesn't see. Yeah. Nobody could see it. No one could see it. And Engel starts to go back towards third and looks like he's back towards second. Second, sorry. And looks the initial camera angle was from Joe McEwing's point of view. So the, the camera must have been in the on the third base side in the dugout. And it looked like Engel had tied up, it's tagged up. And ran to third. This is my. These are. This is what's going through my head when. Well, and that's what you assume it. that he's doing. Yeah, right. For sure. And then I see Yon Mikata running like a fucking freight train behind <laughs> him, and I'm like, "What the hell's going on? Get back! Get back! Get back!" Then when they're chasing down Mikata, I'm literally yelling at the TV like I'm going to make a difference because <laughs> now in my mind, I still, as far as I know, I am under the assumption that Adam Engel is tagged up. I'm like. Run home, run home, run home. Mm. They're occupied with Mikata trying to tag him out, nope. but they don't even understand why they're trying to tag him out at that point because they, the twins seem to know what was going on at that point. I just see Engel just standing at third looking around, and then all of a sudden they're like, the inning's over, and we get the dumb look on LaRusso's face. The, <laughs> like, how many mosquitoes flew in his mouth that night? <laughs> the question mark. I got seven. I got the over-under at yeah, seven. Okay. Um, but so it comes out like afterwards, Adam Engel is just like, I screwed up. I didn't get back to the base. See, I, I had a theory about that at the time because my experience, I was confused. The whole, I didn't even realize it was a triple play at first. And I saw, I saw, you know, there was kind of a delay, like after everything played out and like, it just kind of dawned on me. Like, was that a triple play? And then, right. and then like, I, because I didn't fully understand because at one point I thought he did tag up at second. I thought he was safe at third, but then the rundown was happening. But my my thought was after I saw the replay was Engel was go was trying to tag up. He saw what was happening, but he was so confused by Mankata trucking his way straight towards second base that he he maybe assumed he saw it wrong and that somehow Buxton hadn't caught the ball. There's one thing that may that may have happened the way he caught it was really up against the fence. And I'm wondering if Engel may have thought the only reason Mankata was running is because he saw that he trapped the ball up against the fence or the ball popped out of his mitt and hit the fence. So that's what I was thinking could be the excuse for Engel, uh, that he just saw Mankata running like a maniac. So he's like, oh, I must have missed something, so I better get my ass to third because he's going to run right over me. So that, that's my only defense of Engel, but it sounds like he didn't he didn't say that was the case at all. Well, no, he just, because he because he never when you watch the replay, he never even looks at Mikata. OK, he is literally staring at Byron Buxton the whole way and never got back to the base. So and, two base runners at the same and, time. And according, the, right. And according to Mikata, which is accurate, they're trained to look at the runner ahead of them. So when Engel didn't tag up, he he's not supposed to he's watching he's supposed to be watching the coach and the runner ahead of him. When Engel didn't tag up, he assumed the ball was live and he's like, I'm gonna score. Mm. So it really was in the end, because I thought the same thing as you. I thought Engel okay. was like, Holy shit, this guy's gonna run me over. Like I know something to, I don't. Uh, yeah, I've got to yeah. I've got to run for my own protection too. I just got back. <laughs> Because the god is not save a, my own fucking the life. The got a pretty big upper body. I got to save my life. It's like running with the bulls here. I mean, uh, so was, his upper body was barely contained in that sensual video he recorded. Music <laughs> that's video true. Last summer, so we should, we should run the numbers on how he's performed since then. <laughs> um, but uh, the uh, on replay, it turned out Angle never even saw Mankata. He okay. was 
he, and I think you might be right. I think he, from what he was looking at, he thought he, it bounced off the fence or something, or it, it wasn't even in the glove. That's or, all I could think Because it was of. hard to see. There's no way from where he was standing. We could see it on TV because of the camera angle. But when you look at how he caught it, you you described that perfectly. It was definitely concealed to to the hitter and right. or to the runner. It so, would have been concealed from Angle's view, but it wouldn't have from Moncada's. But if he's instructed right. not to even look, yeah, then yeah. I mean, so what can you do? I mean, big mess, big big turning point in that game Oof. because I mean, if he does just tag up and Moncada. Mikata, you know, in that situation is supposed to run towards second in case the ball is not caught, but at least halfway, he would, yeah. Yeah, he would have gone back, but um, Yeah, you'd have runners on the corners. The runners with, on the corner one out. One out, yeah. Yeah. Instead, we got no runners on <laughs> base because they've been tripled. Got nothing. Tripled off. You'll have nothing and like it, <laughs> Spalding. Um so yeah, that that was in I don't know. I mean, is this you know, people immediately is like, this is again, poor coaching. I like where, where, where is Joe McEwing's accountability in this? Like, why wasn't he, did he not see the play either to say like, get back, get back? Well, yeah. Because, because, because getting one runner getting tagged out because of a blunder is one thing, but the fact that turned mm. into a triple play yeah. is kind of inexcusable. They're, they're, and if this was like the first, you know, major base running blunder you had this year, that would be one thing. But it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to be a pattern. This is the worst example all year, but it, it's it's a it's an issue that certainly doesn't look like it's getting any better. Was was Mankata part of that other one? Who was the one where, or is that Lou, that was Lurie, right? When he mm. was just like running like a madman, and was about to lap. Um. Yeah, I don't remember. Lap someone, and it was just like, dude, why are you running? It's you're about to get doubled off the base. No, it's that was a, it is a very yeah. similar situation. A very similar situation. So well, it's to the point where you know people have they're questioning the White Sox baseball IQ at this point. It's like, yeah, I how, mean, it's a fair, it's a fair question. I mean, how how do you how do you fix that? How do you get how do you get smart over the well, last 80, 81 games remaining? Yeah, I don't know if that's even possible. I, I think you you got to question what amount of coaching is even occurring.